this is Cindy. Uh, we picked a bunch of blueberries, so today we're going to make blueberry jam. So, uh, the amount of blueberries that the recipe calls for that I'll be using is 9 cups of blueberries to 6 cups of sugar. However, I'm probably going to have more than 9 cups of blueberries because I'm using the um, leftover skins and, and meat of the blueberries that I made from blueberry syrup, which we'll put a link to that in the description. Um, but anyways, but the sugar that you'll need, so it's about uh, two-thirds of the amount of blueberries that you use in your recipe um, is how much sugar you'll need. So the first step is to crush blueberries. So I've got a layer of blueberries I put down in my bowl, and I'm just going to kind of crush them with my potato masher. And then I'll use these to start building up my, um, in my measuring cup to figure out how many blueberries that I'm using. Okay, so now all we do is combine the, uh, the crushed berries and sugar in a saucepan. And then I'll take it to the stove. So we had to put it into a bigger pot because the other one was just a little small. So what I'm doing now, I've put it on the stove and I'm going to bring it up to a boil slowly um, and then once we reach a boil you want to let it get to gelling point which is 220 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm just going to kind of move it up a little bit and you want to keep stirring until all of the sugar has dissolved okay so once it's reached gelling point then I'm going to start canning it You'll want to ladle it into your jars, leaving a quarter inch headspace. Once you get your quarter inch headspace, you're going to take out any air bubbles and wipe off the rim of the jar and put your lid on and then tighten this to not very tight. Once your water's come to a boil, you will time it for 15 minutes. Okay, after 15 minutes, you're going to take the top off, you're going to turn it off, and let it sit for five minutes. Once the five minutes are up, then you're going to pull them out of your water bath canner, and you're going to lay them on a towel or a uh, cooling rack, and you're going to leave them for 12 hours, and when you put them out, you want to leave a little bit of space between them, between each jar, about an inch. I've got plenty of room there, so I just left plenty of space. But you'll come back in 12 hours and check them to see if they're done. And this is my first batch. I've actually got to do two batches with this because I wanted to do some of the smaller jars. I've got, if you'll notice, I've got various sizes. So once I've got them all canned, we'll let you know exactly how much this recipe prepared. Alright, once the uh, jars have sat out for 12 hours, uh, you're then going to take the rings off and wash them off and then label the jars. And of course you'll check the seals to make sure that they've sealed. Uh, this batch made 7 pints of blueberry jam this point now we're going to try it through our quality assurance area <laughs> do y'all like it she's a delicious is that what she said so that's blueberry jam if you like what you see today, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment box. Happy can!